we're over here saying how much we want one of those hats. I had no idea they were made here. All right, so on Monday, you have to be with us. We're talking to legendary actor William Shatner about a concert, yeah, James T. Kirk, about a concert that's happening right here that he's very excited about. So all week long, we have been presenting a new year, a new you in anti-aging segments. Now this is the last of them for this week, and we're talking about makeup tips. Who better to discuss that with than makeup consultant extraordinaire, oh, Carrie Wilson. Love having you here today, Carrie. Thank you yeah. so much. I'm, I'm so excited to be here. Well, anti-aging, uh, I might have concocted that segment idea <laughs> because I wanted to get a little bit of uh, um, some advice. And what I love is that even though we've hit different categories all okay. week, there have been common bonds throughout every single presentation. Absolutely. So we're talking about makeup, but you're starting out with something that we've discussed more than once this week. So take us through skincare so important you know I meet so many women and they say how can I make myself look more youthful I'm feeling like I'm seeing wrinkles in areas or my skin isn't as tight and as firm as I want it to be and what I find is women don't always wear skincare and so they're either wearing nothing at all or they've been using the same thing for years and years so it's about stepping it up sort of like exercise if you've been running marathons you can't go to walking around the block Mm -hmm. You have to do something a little bit more intense than that to keep your physique. It's the same with your skin. So you have a couple of products here that um, would represent a good regime? Absolutely. I mean, okay. well, these are all different because, you know, everyone is different. Some mm -hmm. people have oily skin. Some people have dry skin. It's about hydration, feeling some slip, making sure that when you go to put your foundation on, you don't see the makeup. You actually get a slip to the makeup and your skin gives a glow. So sometimes you need something a little bit different. Our weather is kind of all over the place, so we need to make sure that, you know, we have a little bit of, of a choice in our makeup cabinet, if you will. So before we actually get to choosing our makeup to make us look younger, we have to make our skin get there. That's so right. So what's next? So next is foundation and concealer. And again, I find women, oh, I love this formula. I've been wearing it for 10 years. Sometimes your skin changes. Usually we get a little bit drier, we start to see the lining. So choose hydrating formulas. Choose formulas that give you glow. Choose formulas that um, you can't see when you put them on. So I have a question about that because yes. for years we always thought about powdering and being matte. So right. you're saying as you're getting older, you need a little bit of shine? Yes, you do. You don't want to look oily. So the T-zone is a place that you can powder if you need to. But you want a little glow on the cheekbone. Think about uh, Jennifer Lopez. We all think mm -hmm. she has gorgeous skin. She always has that glow. And so glow looks more youthful. It, it really looks um, more, it's more of an anti-aging thing. So you want to make sure you're hydrated, mm -hmm. lighter, brighter formulas are better. Okay. And then Next here, this is, is fun because we did a whole segment on how to do your brow. That's right. So brows are so important. It's the frame to your face. Mm -hmm. And basically, if you leave the brow out, you can sort of lose the eyes and, and you don't look as lifted. Oftentimes when I do a makeup consultation, I find if I do a little bit of brow on someone, they feel instantly lifted. Ah. And one great tip. When you're filling in your brow, fill on the top of the brow, not on the under part. Oh. We all want everything up, 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 okay? So okay. it gives you a nice lift and frame. And then do we use liner or do we not? That's Use liner, but it needs okay. to be balanced. So either you want to do just the top only or all the way around. You never want to do just the bottom. Again, that drags the face down. So ah. top only or all the way around, very balanced. It does open the eyes up. And the final, the final tip from Carrie. So blush is important because it gives us some color, but make sure you're not taking it below your cheekbone. Make sure you're sort of smiling right on the bone and up into the temple. Again, up and lift. All right, I'll be right back. I'm going to go do some makeup fixes in the, in the bathroom. <laughs> Carrie Wilson, how Thank can you. people find you? CarrieWilsonMakeup.com? That's correct. Is yes, that correct? And, and from there, we can find you on your social media because you have Absolutely. beautiful photos. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank we're honored that you were here. We'll be back. 